The helmeted hornbill is a very large bird in the hornbill family. The cask accounts for some 11% of its 3 kg weight. Unlike any other hornbill, the cask is almost solid, and is used in head-to-head -head combat among males. After ongoing hunting pressure and habitat loss, the helmeted hornbill was uplisted from near threatened to critically endangered. According to the conservation group Traffic, 2,170 casks were confiscated in just three years in China and Indonesia alone. There are fewer than 100 birds remaining in Borneo forests. The cask is the source of hornbill ivory, a valuable carving material. Indigenous peoples also use the central tail feathers to decorate dancing cloaks and headdresses. Historically, the cask was also used by carvers in China and Japan. The Sarawak Cereli is a species of primate in the family Cercopithecidae. It was formerly considered common, but has declined drastically due to persecution and habitat loss, and as of 2008 is only known from five sites with a combined population of 400 individuals. Consequently, it is believed to be one of the rarest primates in the world, and has been rated as critically endangered. Borne and orangutan are more solitary than their Sumatran relatives. They primarily inhabit peat swamp forest, tropical heath forest, and mixed dipterocarp forest. Despite being arboreal, it travels on the ground more than its Sumatran counterpart. This may be in part because no large terrestrial predators could threaten an orangutan in Borneo. In Sumatra, orangutans must face predation by the fierce Sumatran tiger. It exhibits nest-building behavior. Nests are built for use at night or during the day. Young orangutans learn by observing their mother's nest building behavior. Orangutans are becoming increasingly endangered due to habitat destruction and the bushmeat trade, and young orangutans are captured to be sold as pets, usually entailing the killing of their mothers. The total number of Bornean orangutans is estimated to be less than 14% of what it was in the recent past, and this sharp decline has occurred mostly over the past few decades due to human activities and development. This view is also supported by the United Nations Environment Program, which stated in its 2007 report that, due to illegal logging, fire and the extensive development of palm oil plantations, orangutans are critically endangered, and if the current trend continues, they will become extinct. When forest is burned down to clear room for palm oil plantations, not only does the Bornean orangutan suffer from habitat loss, but several individuals have been burned and killed in fires. Palm oil accounts for over one-tenth of Indonesia's export earnings. It is in high demand because it is used in several packaged foods, deodorants, shampoos, soaps, candies, and baked goods. In general, Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants and have the highest body point on the head. The tip of their trunk has one finger-like process. Their back is convex or level. They are also remarkably tame and passive, a reason some scientists think they descended from a domestic collection. The preeminent threats to the Asian elephant today are habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation, which are driven by an expanding human population, and lead in turn to increasing conflicts between humans and elephants when elephants eat or trample crops. Hundreds of people and elephants are killed annually as a result of such conflicts. Expanding human development disrupts their migration routes, depletes their food sources, and destroys their habitat. The total population of the Bangai crow is estimated at approximately 500 mature individuals, living in mountain forest at altitudes above 500 meters. The decline of the Bangai crow is thought to be primarily due to habitat loss and degradation through agriculture and extraction. It was sometimes considered a subspecies of the slender-billed crow, but it is actually rather distinct from this bird, resembling an entirely black piping crow overall. The Bengai crow is a small crow, some 39 centimeters long and completely black with a pale iris and a short tail. The Cerulean Paradise flycatcher diet consists mainly of insects and other small invertebrates. Due to ongoing habitat loss, a small population size, and limited range, the Cerulean Paradise flycatcher is evaluated as critically endangered. 
The Siao Island tarsier is a species of tarsier from the tiny volcanic island of Siao. Its existence as a distinct taxon was predicted by the hybrid biogeographic hypothesis for Sulawesi. Volcanic arcs, like the Galapagos and Hawaiian island chains, feature islands that erupt from the ocean floor. In such circumstances, islands form independently, are colonized independently, and remain geographically isolated. These characteristics lead to high levels of endemism. The presence of tarsiers on the most distant island group in the Sangihe volcanic arc led to curiosity about the presence of tarsiers on the other islands in the chain. The Sangihe Islands are known for their critically endangered avifauna, and concerns about the conservation status of the Siao Island tarsier grew before its formal description. The Celebes crested macaque is a diurnal rainforest dweller. This macaque is primarily terrestrial, spending more than 60% of its day on the ground foraging for food and socializing, while sleeping and searching for food in the trees. The celibes crested macaque is promiscuous, with both males and females mating multiple times with multiple partners. The receptivity of the females is clearly indicated by an extreme tumescence and redness of their buttocks which, in contrast to the black skin color, is particularly noticeable. Because it devastates crops and fields, it is hunted as a pest. It is also hunted to provide bushmeat. Clearing the rainforests further threatens its survival. Its situation on the small neighboring islands of Sulawesi is somewhat better, since these have a low human population. Nevertheless, despite being critically endangered, crested black macaque are still unprotected outside of Tonkoko Reserve and they are regularly hunted and slaughtered. They are easily caught and killed as they have no fear of humans. Crested black macaque is considered a delicacy by local residents. The Talad bear couscous is a species of marsupial in the family Phalangeridae. It is endemic to the Talad Islands. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical dry forests. The species is considered critically endangered, with a small population size and heavy hunting pressure on both islands where it occurs, as well as continued habitat degradation. When alarmed, the Talad bear couscous emits a strong musk odor. The North Sulawesi babarusa is virtually hairless, and the tail tuft is also nearly hairless. In males, the relatively long and thick upper canines are strongly curved. They emerge through the roof of the snout, while the long lower canines emerge through the side of the mouth. The upper canines can grow backwards in a curve until they penetrate the skull of the male babarusa. Its habitat is the underbrush of tropical forests and canebrakes, and the shores of rivers and lakes. Its mostly hairless, mottled gray and brown hide provide it with a degree of camouflage. It is threatened from hunting and deforestation. This species is protected by Indonesian law but is threatened by illegal hunting. The Philippine crocodile, the species endemic only to the country, became data deficient to critically endangered in 2008 from exploitation and unsustainable fishing methods, such as dynamite fishing. These crocodiles eat ailing fish in a significantly higher proportion than healthy fish, thus improving the common health of the fish stock. By preying on the most common fish, they balance the fish population. Any species which suddenly becomes dominant is put back in its proper proportion. Crocodile droppings are nutritious for the fish and contain critically important chemicals. It is a relatively small, freshwater crocodile. It has a relatively broad snout and thick bony plates on its back. The Isabella oriole is a species of the oriole family endemic to Luzon in the Philippines. The bird was presumed to be extinct for many years until its rediscovery in December 1993. The Isabella oriole has a known population of about 50 individuals and is assessed as critically endangered based on its extremely small and fragmented population. The Cebu flowerpecker is a critically endangered breeding bird. It was feared to have become extinct early in the 20th century after the clearance of most of the island's forests, but was rediscovered in 1992. The current population is estimated to be between 85 and 105.
The Philippine eagle is considered the largest of the extant eagles in the world in terms of length and wing surface, with stellar sea eagle being larger in terms of weight and bulk. Among the rarest and most powerful birds in the world, it has been declared the Philippine national bird. It is critically endangered, mainly due to massive loss of habitat resulting from deforestation in most of its range. Killing a Philippine eagle is punishable under Philippine law by up to 12 years in prison and heavy fines. Evolution in the Philippine Islands, without other predators, made the eagles the dominant hunter in the Philippine forests. Each breeding pair requires a large home range to successfully raise a chick, thus the species is extremely vulnerable to deforestation. The Philippine eagle was known initially as the Philippine monkey-eating eagle because it was believed to feed on monkeys almost exclusively, this has proven to be inaccurate. This may be because the first examined specimen was found to have undigested pieces of a monkey in its stomach. Like most predators, the Philippine eagle is an opportunist that takes prey based on its local level of abundance and ease. The Sulu hornbill is a species of hornbill in the family Buceratidae. It is endemic to the Sulu archipelago in the Philippines, its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. It is threatened by habitat loss as well as potential harvesting for food. Its diet includes fruit, insects, and small lizards. In 2019 it was reported that only 27 mature individual hornbills are still believed to be alive in the wild. Like other bare-backed fruit bats, the Philippine naked-backed fruit bat wings meet along the midline of their bodies, making it a very agile flyer. It roosted in caves, in areas where little light penetrated the gloom. It was so abundant once that it left piles of guano, which were used by miners as fertilizer. By the mid-1980s, the lowland forest was replaced by sugar cane plantations and the bat vanished. The species now survives in very small numbers. The bat lives in caves and comes out at night to eat fruits from local rainforests. After the forests were cut down to make way for sugar plantations the bat population dropped drastically, and the few remaining ones are still hunted for their meat. Now the bats reside in the few areas of remaining forest, and if these are cut down, the species is likely to go extinct. The Visayan warty pig is critically endangered due to habitat loss and hunting. It is believed to be extinct in four of the islands in its original native range, with only small surviving populations in Negros and Panay. Due to the small numbers of remaining Visayan warty pigs in the wild, little is known of their behaviors or characteristics outside of captivity. The diet of the pig mainly consists of roots, tubers, and fruits that can be found in the forest. They may also eat cultivated crops. Since approximately 95% of their natural habitat has been cleared by local farmers who cut down the forest to plant crops, the propensity of the pigs to eat cultivated crops has risen dramatically. Because the land that is cleared for farming is often unproductive after a few years, the food sources of the Visayan warty pig are extremely limited, a factor that has contributed significantly to the pig's dwindling numbers. As a rare, endemic mammal on a relatively secluded island, the ecology of the tamara is largely unknown. Individuals of the species are reclusive and shy away from humans. In addition, the small sizes of the species subpopulations, already spread thin throughout their fragmented range, make contact with any more than a solitary individual a rarity. It is typically found in thick brush, near open canopied glades where it may graze and feed on grasses. Since human habitation and subsequent forest fragmentation of their home island of Mindoro, the habitat preferences of the Tamara have somewhat expanded to lower altitude grassy plains. Many factors have contributed to the decline of the Tamara population. Over the course of the century, the increase of the human population on Mindoro has exposed the island's sole Tamara population to severe anthropogenic pressures. In the 1930s, the introduction of non-native cattle on the island caused a severe rinderpest epidemic among the Tamara population then numbering in the thousands. Hunting of Tamaras for food and sustenance has also taken a toll on the species' numbers. Its most major factor threatening survival is habitat loss due to infrastructure development, logging and agriculture. These factors reduced the population of thousands during the early 1900s to less than 300 individuals in 2007.
Consulate's giant rat is a species of rodent in the family Muridae. It is found in Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands. These large rats, which are all seriously threatened, 